hold it. What? In just a few moments, you will witness the trials and tribulations of five comedians as they tackle tasks for me, Greg Davis, or, as I'm also known in certain circles, 22 stone of prime marbled beef. <laughs> <laughs> but, though... <laughs> Those awaiting judgment go by the names of... David Badillo! <laughs> Ed Dumbo! <laughs> Joe Brand! <laughs> Katie Wicks! <laughs> and Rob And sitting uncomfortably next to me is a man who, naked, looks like a weird ill monkey. It's <laughs> Little Alex Hall! <laughs> Hello, Alex. Hello. Hi, oh, Greg, you right? Yes, I'm very well. How yes. are you? I'm looking forward to assisting you. I love assisting you. Oh, great. I love um, chatting to you and you assisting me. Great, well, because today I've got a special assistance uh, drawer. Oh, good. I've got, um... What have I got? What sort of stuff do you... I've got um, lots of cotton buds in, ca in case you get clogged again. Yep. I think. <laughs> clogged again. Clogged again. You might get clogged again. Yeah, I might yeah. get clogged again. I've got dry wipes in case you get um, wet. I've got wet wipes in case you get dry. Yep. I've got <laughs> um, little uh, nail scissors. I've got um, bigger nail scissors with crimping things if you want, Jack. Sort of more <laughs> exotic nails. Yeah. And I've got gas and air because of your body situation. <laughs> My body situation. <laughs> Let's crack on with the prize category today, please, Alex Horn. OK, it's the one that should really prove itself by the end of the show because we've asked them to bring in the best thing to celebrate with on a stage. OK. <laughs> it's five points for the best one and then five big celebrations at the end of the show. Joe Brand, uh, what do you think the best thing to celebrate with is on stage? Uh, for me, the best thing uh, to celebrate with on stage is a person and, as he can't be here today, there is a life-size cardboard cut out of him okay and his name is Andy Robinson and he's a stand-up comedian and I've toured with him for about 17 or 18 years he's the nicest man in comedy and I mean that Greg <laughs> there he is look at him oh that's nice that's just celebrating on stage with some cardboard isn't it <laughs> no, well it's a representation of his spirit so his spirit is cardboard <laughs> I'll tell you something about Andy Robinson. He once infiltrated a cult. True. Really? It wasn't him, actually. It was a cardboard cutout of him. <laughs> <laughs> now then, David. Okay. Uh, well, I think the best thing to celebrate with on a stage is this. Okay. Now, admittedly... <laughs> admittedly, it might seem a downbeat thing to celebrate with, but I thought you could add to it this. You see? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then this. Right? And yeah. then, put it together, you have a street party with an open-top bus on stage. Lovely. That's, That's great. And for those um, members of the community who have to use a mobility scooter, I'm sure that'll give them a real lift. <laughs> <laughs> so far, two things to celebrate on stage with have been really great. Katie! It's, gonna, it's about to get better. Woo! Um, <laughs> what... Better way to celebrate on stage than with a candy floss machine. There it is. It will be on stage at the end of the show. <laughs> so, is it a great yeah, thing to I'd, celebrate with? I tried to think of something I hadn't seen anyone celebrate with on stage, but that, that I'd like great. to see someone. You know, it's an action, something to do with your hands. Yeah, there's Beyonce fun, taking nice her final bow, colour. whipping up a big pink one. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit of a camp laugh. <laughs> Just paint a, yeah. situ paint a situation a for me where you, would where you would celebrate with that big camp laugh, though. Like Wimbledon, something like <laughs> <laughs> Federer wins his ninth Wimbledon. Yeah. He runs round. Football. Uh, <laughs> he gets his racket. Great. Yeah. Like, any, like, ball-based sport, anything like that. So, <laughs> Rose, can you possibly do worse than any of these people? I have brought along all of the uh, accoutrements uh, you would need for a ribbon-cutting ceremony. So, I have... Ribbon? Oversized scissors, <laughs> ribbons, and I think stanchions. Stanchions. <laughs> Stan yeah, I knew that. Uh, <laughs> stanchions. I think this would be a really good um, thing to celebrate with because, say you're a mayor, you know, 
Mere? A mere? A mere. That's closer to a meerkat than a man. <laughs> <laughs> You're the mere. <laughs> It's a certain amount of ceremony to it. Like if you're opening a new library, it's like it's not a celebration until you got a ribbon and a big old pair of scissors. So is it, listen, is this supposed to be the best thing to celebrate with on stage? Yeah. Why am I opening a fucking library? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got to celebrate opening a library. You've got to celebrate opening a library. Stage. Library. Are, we, yes. are, we, are we erecting a stage for me to go and open a library? Okay, well, you know, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> One left. What? Campbell. Hello. Hello? Um, I have brought the best thing to celebrate with on a stage. Yeah. Um, I've made it myself. Uh, it's what I like to call my confetti cannon party pants. Here they are. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. Right. How sensitive is it? Does it go off very easily? <laughs> <laughs> Once you get used to it and become more experienced, okay. you, you know you can release it exactly when you want to. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> Any follow-up questions, Greg? Nope. <laughs> if you came on stage with that, I would be celebrating straight away. <laughs> We've all done well. So I'm not going to give anyone one point. Right. OK? OK. But so I'm going to put Katie and Rose with two points. Joint fourth. I like David's bus because he took the trouble to staple a bus onto a mobility scooter. And I think it's probably a very positive message somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> um, four points I'm giving to Joe just because I want to uh, make sure that Andy Robinson <laughs> doesn't get upset. <laughs> <laughs> With five points because I want to see all sparks and things flying out of his willy <laughs> at Gamble! Get a proper task on the way. Okay. Sweet, sweet baby. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Daddy. Okay, this one features water. <laughs> Hello, Rose. Hi. Have a stand on the um, compass. Oh, compass, yeah. I can't see a task thing. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. See you as an Elizabethan washerwoman. Thank you. You're welcome. I thought we were going to turn. <laughs> Just thinking, like, how is this going to move? Make the most striking water feature. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Ah! Water feature involves continuous supply of water, doesn't it? Is there a hose? Yeah, there is a hose. Can we get you a hose? Yeah. Well, I'd like it attached to something. A tap. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> There's an interesting contrast in the reaction yeah. to Ed's reaction. Because you were disappointed that we hadn't constructed a giant turntable underneath the concrete <laughs> so that you could revolve around. Yeah, I think for a moment I thought I was like in the film Labyrinth or something. Whereas Ed saw um, some paper come through a mangle <laughs> and was delighted by it. <laughs> David uh, became a really boring teacher. <laughs> I wrote it down, and water feature involves a constant <laughs> supply of. <laughs> oh, Mr. Patil. <laughs> Go out and play. <laughs> Come on, Chubet, let's see some action. <laughs> Our first water feature film stars Rose Matafeo, Katie, and it's everyone's favourite brand, Joe. Here we go. Do you have a hose I can use? Where is it? Do you want me to go and get it? Please? Yes, please. Okay. That attaches to a water source. Yes. Thank you. I think what I'm going to do is do a water feature in the sink. This is a bit more complicated than I thought, Alex. <laughs> but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour water. Here it comes. Striking. <laughs> I don't really know what's 
going to happen. So here we go. There we go. While well, you drink your cup of tea and you listen to the gentle tinkling sound of a child's wee. <laughs> it's a little bit uneven, but it sounds nice. I mean, I should add more stuff to it. I, I can't hear you very well because it's raining very hard. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm the water feature, you know what I'm saying? Can I have a bit more water, please? A bit more, please. Here it comes. It's going to go into bloody space. <laughs> oh, my God, it's going to explode. There it goes. Is that your striking water feature? Yep, there she goes. Look at that, that's beautiful. Wow. I think there's not much coming out of this duck. Okay. <laughs> doesn't make a very relaxing noise at the end. It was really great. Up until the point you revealed that you were pouring a child's urine through it <laughs> and that it collapsed, but it was really spectacular up until that point. Yeah, I thought it was working really well. I quite like the bit at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I thought yours was a fairly powerful metaphor, Rose, for what humanity's done to the planet. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was supposed Have to Have I be. read that right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> um, now then, now. talk about promising big things and not delivering. <laughs> Mine had, uh, the, the, mine had the, meaning. The, the clattering in the shed. Yeah. I was thinking, this is going to be incredible, <laughs> this thing. And then yeah. you came out with a piggy bank with a hole in it. Yeah. But you must have been all I, uh, <laughs> I did it with a big knife. Then you stuck the hose in it and I thought, oh, she's back in the game here. Um, because that peg is going to explode. By the end, had a good old, good old height on it. No, it was a squirting peg. <laughs> <laughs> but right I think the start. way the thing I managed to get it standing upright was quite clever with gravel. Oh, oh that's true. That really helped. Yes. Without that, it would have been bad. Oh no, you're right. Because for a second, I thought you just bashed a hole in a piggy bank and stuck a hose in it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, two water features to go, but you're going to have to wait for them. Sorry. <laughs> That's what we've been watching. Yes, please. Yes, please. The current task involves making the most striking water feature, <laughs> which is why Katie used a piggy bank, Joe piled up some crockery, and Rose found a Wellington boot. But there's hope now in the form of David and Ed. Right, let's see what we've got. What are you going to do, Ed? OK, so what we need to do is a fountain, probably using the bath. OK. Elevation is key. Have we got any other funnels? Have we got any other funnels? Yeah. You can make a funnel. No, that's not what I want. OK, well, I'll stand in the bar. You want me to stand in the bar? Yeah. Well, also, I want you to be like a, you know, like a Greek god. Can you take your top off? <laughs> yes. OK. How do you feel about popping your top off? I don't mind doing it. I want you to take your top off to the water feature. Okay, just you know, don't get your trousers off. I don't, I don't no, I wouldn't. I was just unloosening the, that bit. Is there a pitchfork? I think I've seen a pitchfork. How much hair do you have on your chest? More than you think. OK. <laughs> so can you look like sort of like Neptune? Hold that like it's a... Oh, yeah. Like that. Like, and look a far away look in your eyes. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. <laughs> Is that neptune -ish? No, it looks sort of Russian. Could you... Hold these. Yeah. Crown. How's it going to come out of both? Well, this is what I'm trying to work out, Alex. Just putting this in for detail. Okay. Am I doing the right thing? Yeah, it's sexy. Do you have any spare trousers? Well, I wasn't planning to spray any of the water at me. Oh, fine. You'll just top off. Yeah. Oh, top, top off's really solidarity. Right. Oh. Yeah, that's going to happen, mate. Strap in, you're a mermaid. OK, can you do the far away look? Put that on your head. That's disappointing. Shit. Oh, yeah, that's, 
kind of better. What do you want me to do? Just look at look far away eyes. The sea, the sea, the waves. I don't know why I've got my top off. So here's how it's going to go. You're going to spray some water out your mouth when I give it to you, and then you're going to sing. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go. Yay, the crowd's roar. Perfect. Thank you, Alex. Come on. Cheers, mate. Ed. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, David. Right. I'll take this back to the kitchen. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we barely need to discuss it. It's <laughs> one of the most triumphant things I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> that beautiful merman. <laughs> Just one boob, one boob spray it. We were trying for a while to get two boobs going, weren't we? Alex? You were trying for a while. I was trying for a while. We decided that. Uh, you I, decided. I, I decided. <laughs> I decided it was preferable to have a strong jet from one rather than a dribble from both. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. As soon as he went into the shed, he went, I know what to do, with very grim determination and then set about it. Whereas David was, felt like it was more on the hoof. Well, <laughs> whilst I enjoyed the fine image, this is what it put me in mind of. It put me in mind of two middle-aged blokes... Yes. ..who have told their wives <laughs> that they're going to be building a water feature <laughs> so that they can enjoy... A openly homoerotic fun. Yeah. It was a water feature based broke back mountain for me. <laughs> yeah, no, we fell in love while it was happening. I as far as I remember. You fell in love. No. <laughs> oh no, it looks like my top's fallen off as well. <laughs> well whatever will our wives think? <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, let me give out some points. I don't think it's that difficult. Right. I'm gonna go least striking water feature. Yes. I feel guilty about doing it because um, the preparation sounded so spectacular. Oh, but the go. least striking water feature for me was Katie's dribbling pig. <laughs> so I can only give her one point. I okay. apologise. Fine. The second least um, spectacular striking water feature for me, because um, it utilised household equipment, I'm giving Joe two points. Right, two to Joe. And um, because of its powerful metaphor, <laughs> I'm giving Rose three points. OK, now then. And now David's hot, sexy bit of water feature gets four points. And obviously, the one-boobed Jet Propulsion Mermaid takes five points! Okay. Okay. S to the C to the O-R-E. Scoreboard, please. OK, well, first of all, I can tell you the series scores at this stage. It's exciting. We have joint fourth place. Joe and David both have 48 points. Katie's got 56, Rose has got 57. Mm -hmm. Ed has zoomed up into the lead with 62 points. Zoom! Oh. Oh. Mm. Currently, Katie's in last with three, and Ed is in the lead with 10 points. There we go. Yeah. A maximum, a maximum 10. Full marks for Little Gumble. OK, so, um, do you have something more sociable this time? More sociable, I do, actually. I have a sociable task, and it's a team task, so it's double sociable, and here it is. Mm. Oh, hello, Joe. Oh, hello, Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, David. Hello, Ed. Hello, Alex. Hello, Katie. Hello. Hello, Rose. You remember my name. This is awesome. Oh, it's Rose. That's... <laughs> it's only the task, the task. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bring a classic board game to life. <gasps> Best real-life board game wins. <gasps> you have one hour. Like... Your time starts <laughs> now. <laughs> right. I love it. What a board game is this? Well, not one that everyone will think of. Let's all say a board game at the same time and see if we think it's a classic one we want to bring to life. Yeah. Right, three, two, two one. one. Pluto! Yes. Let's rule out snakes and ladders, mm. chess. Mm. Kapl oh, Kaplunk? Oh, yeah, Jenga. Backpack, mousetrap? 
Mouse traps good. I had another one called uh, Operation Zaylover, which was about the Nazi invasion of Britain. <laughs> Should we do that one? <laughs> yeah. So... Jinka, Operation. Yeah. Um... Oh, Operation's quite funny. What about that one, Don't Wake Dad? <laughs> I don't know, Don't Wake Dad, but what, what about uh, the one that's like a medical one? What's it called? Operation. Operation with like, uh, the, and you have to take out a liver and a spleen from a person. <laughs> I don't like keep keeping drawing a distinction between the two age groups. <laughs> <laughs> but it does fascinate me that the three younger people were, like, getting all excited, listing game after game after game, and the first thing that David mentions <laughs> is a game that no-one's heard of about the scourge of the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Operation Zaylover. It was a war game in which the Nazis invaded Britain or... As a Jew, it was a nightmare that I once had. <laughs> I'm, I'm not entirely sure. One but of the two. Amazing that you knew Operation Zaylover but couldn't remember the name of Operation. <laughs> 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 and more game will be brought to life right after the following really, 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 really great adverts. Taskmaster, it's good to have you here. Yes, and important. Viewers are very important. <laughs> Board games, then. First of all, we're going to see the team of three. That's Rosie, Eddie and Kate. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Take the weight off my little fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at this disgusting sandal that's got Velcro on it, which is ideal for my purposes. Ooh. Well, you can't forget old grandma's rolling pin. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, the donkey sounds mighty agitated. <laughs> angry, angry eyes. Y'all gone fishing. <laughs> Comes the wine rack. <laughs> what yo he is? A wooden spoon? <laughs> a horse on a donkey? <laughs> a horse next to a violin? The only thing I've got is the playability element of it because Buckaroo, which I didn't have as a child because my mum selfishly wouldn't buy it, okay. but some of my um, <laughs> some, of, some of my wealthier friends did have it. Mm. It had a spring system, mm. sure. And so, in, in the original game, you two would be nervous about when the Buckaroo is going to kick. This was very much on the whim of the donkey. But we, we bought it, said bring, bring, it bring, it bring it to life. Bring it to life. It's, you know, we didn't we have a spring because we had an extra Because Because if, if you wanted a, a playable it. version of Buckaroo, we could have just bought Buckaroo. Yeah. yeah. I, I just think you should have um, attached some sort of spring system to Ed no, so that he wasn't in control you know of what he was. How do you know the spring system? Yeah, he's the spring system. Yeah, but the spring system. Yeah, but you're, a, you're, you're a conscious being. Oh, I'm so Some's sorry. <laughs> The original, you are right, the original had uh, three sensitivity levels that were adjustable via a switch under the saddle. And there was... Thank you! Yeah, there was nothing like that. I've got three sensitivity <laughs> levels! <laughs> and I'll be honest, I'm on my top fucking one! <laughs> We've had one attempt involving a donkey and a wine rack. Here comes David and Joe's attempt. <laughs> So I'm gonna go for your kidney. Okay. I think you did it without touching my body, so. I, I think I did. I'm gonna try a challenge now. Okay. <laughs> so one point to you, is that One joke? point to me. Okay, I'm gonna go for a butterfly. Okay. okay. Ow! Oh. <laughs> Ow! My brain's falling off. Oh! No, I'm afraid. Oh, oh, no. oh, God, this is going to be hard. Right. Uh, you've done it. Yay! 
Hang on, am I left with anything Surgeon else? Surgeon extraordinaire. Thank you, David. Swift recovery, I hope. Okay. See you later. Bye-bye. Wow, I've got a lot of questions here. I'm going to ask the first one to Joe. How soon was it into the task <laughs> when David volunteered to take his clothes off? <laughs> <laughs> About two seconds. It's incredible, isn't it? I've got a question for you now, David. Yes. Why were you hitting yourself so hard? <laughs> I don't really know why. Well, possibly because part of the homoerotic experience of this show is to hurt myself. <laughs> I, haven't really, I haven't really worked that out. What, for me, was so charming about the game is that you'd so painstakingly replace the organs of the body with child-friendly things. A butterfly, a cauliflower... Oh, and, of course, an actual kid. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's a very tough decision for me, I'll tell you that now, cos I thought they were both excellent games. You know, it's not like me to cop out, but I am going to cop out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give them both three points, that's what I'm going to do. I can't separate them. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got one more task. Uh, this one's all because the Davis loves Trey. Ready? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Katie. Hey. Hey, Trey. <laughs> Say a letter of the alphabet. B. B. P. Thank you. Put the most things beginning with the letter you just said on this tray. The tray may not leave Alex, and Alex may not leave the lab. Most things beginning with the letter you just said on the tray, in five minutes from now, wins. So can I go walking about? All right. <laughs> Bye. I might just not come back. Oh, I'll right have then. a look. OK, then. Thanks, Joe. Say a letter of the alphabet. You have ten seconds. Your time starts now. A letter of the alphabet. Ha, ha, ha. You must now pick a letter of the alphabet and say that letter out loud. D. You must be so proud of yourself that that worked. Q. It's a mistake, wasn't it? Bullets. <laughs> You had an unfortunate experience with little Alex Horn, didn't you, Ed? I genuinely panicked and I didn't know what we were supposed to do, so I panicked and said a letter of the alphabet. Mm. Yeah, and he threw it in your face, didn't he? Threw it he? right back in my face. Like predicting your little joke. I only had the envelope in just for you. I, I knew it was going to be you doing it. The, did you? The no, you did. really? You did predict it would be you that mm. did it as well. You might really? like to reflect on that. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't excuse him getting all cocky, though. Alex, you should tell someone if you're being bullied. <laughs> Yeah. There are, there are... <laughs> I don't I don't care. What are you telling me? Just fell into a little trap then. I did, <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. That's him back in his box. Come on, let's see some stuff. Hello. Okay, well, uh, these two both went for B. Let's see what they gathered. It's Joe and Katie. Okay. That doesn't give with B. Do they have to be all different things? All the information's on the task, Katie. Oh, shit. These are biscuits. OK? Yes. Just trying to, trying to count them. What's that? Bread. These are birthday candles, OK? And you're sure they've been with me? Yeah, cos they're birthday candles. Mm. You've got one minute, Joe. OK. A B. Baby's head. Bottle. Butter. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds, Joe. <laughs> box. A bag. Here's a box. Another box. Bra. 
Five seconds. It takes everyone longer than that. Even the pros. What do you mean by pros? <laughs> Tell you after. I was not surprised that Jo didn't uh, come and go because uh, she has minimised movement during this whole competition. <laughs> she went round, she gathered her things, bam, there. I thought if I went twice, I might have to call an ambulance. <laughs> All her things also were, beginning with B, I think, bread, banana, brush, bottle, butter. Bog roll, happy with bog roll? Yeah. So what was her total? Uh, 136 things or nine different things. Oh, no, we'll count the 136. Let's get that straight, straight away. Right, OK. Which means that Katie got 168 if you Ooh. include the 66 birthday candles. Well, if you have bog roll, you've got to have birthday okay. candles. Of course you have. Roll. One follows the other. Yeah. <laughs> Good. And I uh, obviously enjoyed watching Alex squirm when uh, pros were raised at the end. Mm. Well, she was, was threatening to take her bra off well, in ten was, seconds. I thought it was like, fun flirting, oh, wasn't threatening. So these boys can take... The David Baddiel can take his top off. Yeah. And she can have a bloody bra, bra. Oh, I Hang blushed on. at that so, as well. Hey, 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 hey. I'm all for Katie whipping her bra off. <laughs> Do you want to see some more? Yes, please. OK, we're going to see E with D and R with P. <laughs> How many is that? Is that my job? No, it's not. It's my job. <laughs> Dinner plates. Disposable gloves. Hello, Rose. Hello. Ooh. Pins. That's a nice combination. Dextrose tablets. Each of those is a thing, and that's Dextro's packet. Diabetic equipment. Pardon? Diabetic equipment! Hi. It's tube. I'm a signal for the rules. Drinks holders. Drinks holders, yeah. Pistols. Diet sodas. Would you count this as newspaper or paper? It's up to you. Just count that as paper. No. Dip. Dairy. Dusk. Um, dusk. Thank you, Rose. Thank you. Peas, petals, pims and paper. Yes. I mean, it's strong from both people, obviously. The peas. What an opener. You've got to be pleased with the peas. I was trying to, like, follow some rules, cos I, I feel like I've got a moral compass. <laughs> and I... Not and... like these clowns. Well, well dr I mean, drink receptacles for... I mean, that's... Drink receptacles, my sweetheart. <laughs> but I just... I got... I, I wish I put newspaper on there, that's all, but, you know... She did put 25 no. sheets of paper. Yep. 30 petals, one bottle of Pims, 250 peas, so it's... Oh. Whoa. Hello. Well, let's just strike drinks holders right off now. How many would it have been if I'd been allowed drinks holders? Loads. 111. Fine. So, victory or nothing, Fuck right? Fuck it, I call them cups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this part, but come back for some big stage celebrations and David Baddiel scrabbling about with things beginning with Q. <laughs> <laughs> You know what that means? No, it can't be. It is. Really? Really? <gasps> Recap, Recap time! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, before the break, the contestants picked a letter and then had to go and fetch as many things as they could, beginning with that letter, and pop them on my tray. David Baddiel picked the letter Q. <laughs> Here is his attempt. So, what I don't think I made clear when I did this show, I felt in a health form. So I sometimes have a speech defect. Uh, so this is a quamra. That's how I pronounce it. Mm. Quinana. Quarange. Quapple. Cape Quesher. Quesher, I pronounce Quesher. But you're calling that a tape Quesher? It's tape Quesher, yeah. But beginning with Q. Quesher. Quarange. <laughs> Another Quarange. Quap. Clock. How do you spell clock? Q U O L K. C K. Quok. Well, that's how I pronounce it. I know it's spelled C L O C K, but I pronounce it quok. Mm. Actually, that's wrong, isn't it? <laughs> I spell it like that too. Quaranth. <laughs> Quaby with a leaf in its head. 
Craig Davis, Qualex Hall. Quail, Queenus. This is what Americans call Quaffy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I've won that one. Do you? Yeah. Your speech sounds better now. I think I've won that one. Mm. Well. Thank you, David. Thank you. Well, stop the press. I'm going to allow coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. The rest of it was quap. <laughs> <laughs> the quappest thing we've seen. He was unlucky. I mean, you missed. There were quite a few things around the house. Were there? In the fridge, there was quail eggs, quiche, quince, half a quesadilla, and well, genuinely... You put special Q stuff mm -hmm. in the fridge in case someone picked Q. We thought someone might pick Q. And there was also 60 packs of quavers, just so you know. <laughs> 60 packs of quavers. Yeah, and if you'd empty oh them out... Oh, my God, if you yeah, emptied those out, it would have been thousands of quavers. Yeah, but he, he, he would have gone quisps. <laughs> <laughs> I feel terrible. <laughs> so David gets one point. Uh, two for Ed, three for Joe, four for Katie, but Rose Matafeo, with a pure entry, gets five points! <laughs> Let's take a glance at the scores. OK, well, it goes 10, 11, 12, 13, but at the top is Ed Gamble with 15 points. Whoa! <laughs> Very good. Will you please vacate the area, head to the stage for the final task of the show? <laughs> Who will read the Tusco? Uh, David Baddiel's going to read this one. Throw your things far, but not too far. <laughs> Taking it in turns, you must select a thing and throw it beyond the line, but not off the runway. If your thing does not end up in the safe zone, you are disqualified. If all objects end up in the safe zone, the person who has thrown their thing the shortest distance is disqualified. You may not manipulate your things in any way before throwing them. Last player standing wins. Got it. Have you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> have I you? have. I you, pick a, you pick a thing, I you've got to get it, it over that line but not off the, off the thing. If you get it off the thing, you're disqualified. If everyone gets their things within the safe zone, then the person who's thrown the shortest distance over that line is eliminated and we keep going and picking a new thing until everyone's out apart from one person who's the winner of the task. Correct. <laughs> They applauded, but I still didn't understand. What? It's like an educational video showing the collapse of the human mind. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a swimming noodle, an egg, a birthday card and a grain of rice. OK? Oh, I, ch I, I chucked the grain of rice, I thought it was dirt. No. <laughs> <laughs> OK, on the whistle, please choose your first item and hold it aloft. One, two, three... <laughs> OK, egg, egg, rice, egg, noodle. That's the order. Let's play! <laughs> OK, it's uh, Ed to throw first. Remember, the shortest distance, if they all make it into the safe zone, is disqualified. Thank you. <laughs> it's a crazy choice. Oh, what? Whoa! <laughs> Absolute <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> and you good luck! thought you understood, D but you didn't. <laughs> it out from your mistake. Mate, that is bouncing wherever you throw it. The old rubber egg, eh? <laughs> In second place, it's Rose. If you can come to the throwing spot and hurl your noodle, please. I'll just warn you now, that noodle is made entirely of egg. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God could, damn it! Could not be shitter. <laughs> Okay, uh, next up, yes, it's Jo to the hockey. With her grain of rice. <laughs> it's safe! <laughs> That's rice tossing! <laughs> <laughs> and Greg, it's egg time again as we welcome David Baddiel to the hockey. Okay. So, is, well, thank is you very this much. a rubber egg? <laughs>
will come out. That will come out. Wow. He's out. Get out of the jail. Get out. Come on. Oh my god. Oh. The final throw is Katie with another rank. Oh my god. Thank you. Okay. I'm just. Yes. You can do it. I'm worried that this is haunted like that one. <laughs> <laughs> She's out! <laughs> right. Well, it's the final. <laughs> so these three have got one point. These two will have either five or four points. Yes. So when the whistle blows, please select your next item. One, two, three. Lovely. Noodle v rice. Classic. <laughs> It's going to be Rose to throw first. <laughs> the young pretender, Matafeo. Rice on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Where's oh, 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 I will tip to So, you've got to throw beyond that, but yeah. not beyond that, to win. OK. okay? You join us here. <laughs> the atmosphere electric. <laughs> Joe. Well done, Rose Battle Fail! Right, come down, we'll add that to the final scores. <laughs> well, <laughs> not very often that a new international sport is created. <laughs> so all the people who took the egg gamble at the beginning went out, so gets one point. Ed, Katie and David. Correct. Then we had the final. Joe got four points, but the winner was Rose Matafeo, who got five points! <laughs> and I've got the final scores. Do you want to see who won the episode? Yeah! <laughs> the winner with 18 points <laughs> was Rose Matafeo! <laughs> What have we learned today? We've learned that sometimes it's nice to just turn off your telly, gather the family round and have a good old game of stopping the Nazi hordes from imposing <laughs> their evil will on the entire world. <laughs> See you next time for more nice times and now let's applaud tonight's winner again. It is, of course, Rose Matafeo! <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!